Thank you. It is uh, 27 minutes to nine. The Mayor of London has condemned plans by climate change protesters who've been on the streets of central London to take their protest to the tube. The protests have already affected public transport. The police say 55 bus routes have been closed. The Mayor says he shares the passion of the protesters, but any action that affected the tube would damage uh, their cause. Fahana Yamin is uh, in our radio car, one of those arrested yesterday, but she's also been lead author for the Intergovernmental Panel on climate change uh, for three assessment reports. She is uh, an international lawyer. She's been advisor as well to the Republic of the Marshall Islands in the Paris uh, talks of 2015. Morning to you. Uh, good morning. And before we get to the tube and stuff, just the substance of what you're doing. What, what is it that you want the British government to do that it's not doing? Um, the British government really needs to communicate the urgency of the situation and to step up now and uh, declare an ecological and climate emergency um, and to take steps to unify the country, to st take steps to explain to people why fundamental changes need to happen starting tomorrow. And, and fundamental changes that would have what impact on individual lives? What would we do differently? Well, individuals can take action today. They can, you know, ch make changes to their diets. They can uh, reduce their consumption. They can, you know, stop buying uh, clothes that we throw away after one use. But really, this isn't about individual consumers doing things. This is about us uh, standing up and asking those who are in charge of our infrastructure, those who are in charge of public policy, those who shape the decisions <coughs> that affect all our lives for the long term to step up and redesign our society. What, what would you say, though, to, and you know about these things on the international level, to people who say, well, hang on a second, what about China building coal fire power stations and indeed funding them in other parts of the world outside China? What about all the other things that are going on and actually our ability to make a difference here? It might be important symbolically, but it's not much more than that. No, we're not symbolically. You know, we are still one of the richest countries in the world. We have got a, a leadership issue to show the world that a country like Britain that, uh, you know, wants to be at the forefront of climate change efforts can do more and is taking the next set of actions to, sh to show that leadership. And, and China that... It obviously has to do what China needs to do, but we should also do what we need to do. And then getting the substance to, to, the, to the tactics uh, of the protests, uh, do you think it would be right or wrong for more public transport to be affected? Because as I was saying, buses already have been. Do you think the tube should be shut? Um, I totally want to apologise to people who have been using public transport. Obviously, I use public transport as much as possible and we're encouraging everyone to use uh, less cars, less uh, uh, emissions, private emissions. But, you know, at the same time, we need to take actions which are disruptive. Um, and the reason for that is to make sure that everyone understands what kind of uh, danger we're facing right now. So, uh, you know, it's taken reluctantly. I'm not uh, someone who goes out on the streets and disrupts uh, and gets arrested for no reason at all. But I feel that people should understand that we are at such a critical moment in humanity's history. What the Mayor of London says is that it could affect and damage the cause, if people are uh, inconvenienced and indeed distressed and worse by public transport being clogged up, that that will do damage to the cause that you want to persuade people of? Well, we, we have uh, been doing some disruptive actions on the roads that started, you know, last year. We've obviously uh, uh, closed off some of the bridges. We want to try and make sure that we don't do more disruption than is necessary. So there'll be a, a small test today of whether that's the right approach. I totally hear his concerns. But at the same time, um, I think it's also an opportunity for people who are affected and those who are listening to maybe take a pause in their lives and to think, you know, what have we come to uh, at this point that people, you know, are taking this kind of action why is this necessary? Um, and, you know, where have we come to in terms of the climate impacts that we're facing all around the world already and that we will be facing, uh, you know, already facing in this country? We've already had like a, a very weird February and we're expecting, you know, both droughts and floods later on this year, which are going to affect the British economy and affect British agriculture and food production. Bahana Yamin, thank you.